this is the birth certificates they don't want shown, all right? Uh, I'm Margaret Ann Windsor, kidnapped and brought over to the United States at age two in 1941 and dropped off in Moulton, Alabama with a family where the mother, the one I had to call mother, was mother of the twins, and they were born out of wedlock, Peggy and Carl Dempsey, and she murdered them, and they covered it up. Now, I'm going to show you Carl's death certificate, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. I, they stole my identity, and I still have to use a dead person's identity that was murdered, the twin Peggy and Dempsey, and I married a Childers. So I got the birth certificates, and let me say this here. I had the state seal on them, uh, and they were taken. Somebody came in and replaced them. These are the same, except it doesn't have the seal on them, and you can't make it out very well as, as well. But the, the state of Alabama actually told everybody, hey, look at this. This is illegal. It's even on the birth certificates. You cannot alter it in any way. Now then, and of course they did. When I accessed, asked for the birth certificates, and I guess that was, I couldn't get a copy. Uh, I think I tried before, but uh, in about 1999, I got copies of the birth certificate with the state seal. And they were marked through and I uh, to fit the date they gave me when they brought me here. So I'm going to show Carl's, Preston, and the date where they marked through um, the date that they had on there and uh, replaced it with the date they gave me when I received these, when they sent them, because they didn't jive with the twins' birth dates. Now here's Carl. And on here, I'm going to say this, um... No doctor saw him, and it even says here uh, that no doctor attending. Uh, so they just boxed him up, murdered him. It was in winter, and hauled him off and put him in the grave. Okay? Now, that I don't know if you can tell, but this is the date they... Um, that was signed here of his death by Highsmith, and you really can't tell that much. Um, but actually, what they did was having him. How'd that go? He was born. They were born in thirty-eight, and uh, I was put over here in thirty-nine, and they had to uh, redo and mark through the birth certificates. Anyway, they have him, okay, this looks like it's uh, 38, uh, January 22nd, 38. So they redid it to make the birth uh, match the one they gave me. So it's got it's still got an eighth there, the, kind of the mark through that. So I don't know the month. But they've got January the 7th of 39, which is the year they gave me of birth. And I'll use through scoop. I'm just showing George the second, the illegal monarch. I'm sorry, George the sixth. I'm I am a lot going on here, and um, he helped take down my father, Edward the eighth. And by the way, my father never married Wallace Simpson. He was married to my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor. So here's his own brother, George, planning the kidnapping. Of his daughter, I was born in 39, kidnapped in 41, and brought over here and given the name of the twins. Cover up. The family covered up the murders. And I'm going to say this before I go, Elizabeth's illegal and all that, that family. But um, it didn't make sense at the time. But I can remember now, it makes sense now, I can remember the one male in that family, like there was Lion, a mother of the twins, uh, in the Dempsey family. There were seven girls and one boy. I remember James, Matthew was his name. I remember him coming in so upset and mad, and I was in, uh, there was only a kitchen and a little off space there. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> and then, uh, there was really a bedroom and then another one, but this is a, really an old shack. But I was in the other room, and it was night. I remember that. 
and the line of the mothers of the twins that had killed them, and her mother, the old grandmother, uh, it would be actually, um, well, she was in the kitchen when uh, Matthew came in, which is her son, and he was screaming, but you killed her, but you killed her, you fed her to the pigs. And that was what happened to little Peggy. And uh, I, it's my belief from the things I pieced together, Ken, that she actually, Peggy probably lived on up until just before I was kidnapped, okay? Uh, 